Everyone's talking about automation tools. N8N, Make, Zapier. They're supposed to be saving you hours. But here's the truth. Most people are picking the wrong one for their needs. And if you're not using the right one, then you're already falling behind your competition. That's why in this video, we're gonna dive into the three different platforms and the differences between each so that you can pick the best one for you. Let's start off with pricing. By far the most expensive one on this list is Zapier. In Zapier, you have to pay for a certain amount of zaps. What is a zap? A zap is essentially an automation every time that you run it. So you can imagine if you have a lead list where you have to enrich 10,000 different contacts, you scroll this all the way up to 10,000, all of a sudden you're paying $129 a month just to use Zapier. Next up, we have Make. Now, Make is somewhere in between the two. You still have to pay for executions with Make. However, it is considerably less than Zapier. And then finally, we have N8N, and under N8N, we have to actually put two different categories because there is N8N in the cloud, and there is N8N self-hosted, and both of them are slightly different, okay? If you're using N8N in the cloud, then you also pay for a workflow execution, but again, it is considerably cheaper than Make. However, if you decide to self-host N8N, then all you have to do is pay the hosting fees and all the executions are free. You can host as cheap as $6 a month. And if you're running heavy automations, at most it would probably cost $25 to $30 a month to run hundreds of thousands of automations a week, which is considerably cheaper than all of the other alternatives. A really quick and easy way to host NADN is by using Railway. There are one-click deploys, and I have a video on that. You can check that out. Next, let's check out the ease of use. First up, we have Zapier. Zapier is by far the easiest one to use. It has integrations with over 10,000 different platforms and most of them are point and click so it's really easy to integrate different apps together and create your automation. Next up we have Make which also has thousands of integrations that are point and click. It's really easy to connect. It is a little bit more complicated in terms of laying out the workflow but it is still relatively easy to use. And then finally we have N8N which is also easy to use but just a little bit more advanced in terms of usability. On the N8N cloud, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to connect different services. For example, connecting Google, you can just one-click sign in. Whereas if you're self-hosting, you have to go into the Google admin panel, grab your API key, your client secret, and then connect it to N8N. So it's a little bit more involved, but still not too complex. Next up, we have features and capabilities. Now, Zapier by far has the most native integrations. That being said, all of the platforms can connect to almost anything by using API calls. API calls are slightly more advanced use case, so this might be for more advanced users. However, if you want out of the box integrations, Zapier by far has the most. Next we have Make, and then we have N8N, and N8N has a lot of integrations, especially if you include all of the community nodes that the community has been building for N8N. There is thousands and thousands of integrations to use. In terms of custom code and scraping support, N8N here is the king. It allows you to add custom JavaScript, custom Python, you can install different modules, and even create your own nodes. You cannot do that with the other two platforms. As I mentioned there are community nodes that you can install which gives N8N additional capabilities that it didn't previously have. Whereas with Make you can do a bit of JavaScript and some logic there and even in Zapier you can too but it is a lot more limiting there's a lot less you can do with it and it's way less powerful than that of N8N. Now let's talk about what type of person I would recommend which platform. So if you're very new to automation, you don't know much about technology, then I believe Zapier is probably your go-to. Yes, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of money up front, but you're sacrificing that money for knowledge that you don't currently have. If you are a little bit more technical, but not too technical, and you're okay with spending just a little bit more, then Make is probably your go-to. It's a happy medium between the two, and it is relatively inexpensive. Finally, you have the N8N Cloud and N8N Self-Hosted. If you're going to go with N8N, I almost always recommend you go with the self-hosted option. There are easy ways to self-host, as I mentioned previously in the video, and N8N by far is the most flexible 
platform out there and Aiden can do absolutely anything. Whereas Zapier has quite a few limitations, Make has less limitations, and Aiden technically doesn't have any limitations at all. Because you're able to make your own custom nodes, to code your own custom tools and things like that, technically you don't have any limits at all to what you can do with Aiden. The question is, is how complex do you want to get? Do you want to stick with the drag and drop builder or do you want to start adding code on top of that? Aiden is also the most developer friendly application. If you're coming from a little bit of background in programming, I believe Aiden is probably the best choice for you. In terms of community and support, all three platforms have really amazing communities that are there to help you out. So you don't have to worry too much about getting help for any of the platforms. You will always be able to find somebody there and in my opinion if you're a little bit more technical you're very budget conscious or you just want to be future proof I believe NADEN is the best platform for you guys to go to that being said to each his own Zapier and make are really good at what they do of course they are a little bit easier to use but with that ease of use comes a higher price tag and you're sacrificing flexibility within the platform if this video helped you guys out then you have to check out my video on how to deploy NADEN on railway with just a couple of clicks so be sure to check that one out and I'll see you guys next time